So, well, we will discuss about on change client script. So, on the form, right, if you are changing particular field value, suppose if you are changing the color field value, the on change client script will run. If you are changing the subcategory value or category value, the on change client script will run. If you are changing any value on a particular field, the on change client script will run. So I will show you. I am going to create one. I am going to create one on change client script. Okay. So right click, configure, client scripts. on change cs so here you have to select on change here so here you have to you must specify the field name people usually forget to specify the field name which field on particular and which particular field value change this client script should run means so here on short description value change on short description value change this client script should run. So on value change on the short description field, this on change client script should run. So then I am actually keeping an alert here. Here I am keeping hello friends. The function got loaded automatically, right? Yes. Function. Okay. So every time when you change the value here on the short description field, right? So now the onload client script has run. Now I am going to change the value here. Okay. Now the unchanged client script has run. So again, I'm changing the value here. Again, the unchanged client script has run. So if I change the value and the second value, the unchanged client script will not run. It will only run when you are changing the value in the short description field. Here you have clearly mentioned on which field value change the unchanged client script should run. You clearly mentioned here. So when you change the field value on a particular field, when you change the unchanged client script will run, okay? So if you take a look at here onload client script, in the onload function, there are no parameters. If you take a look at the unchanged client script, you have five parameters available. Five parameters available. So here we will discuss about each parameter does what. We will discuss each parameter does what. So I, in the alert, in the alert, I am keeping control. First one control. Second alert. Second alert I am actually taking as old value. Third alert. Third one, I'm actually taking as new value. Fourth alert, I'm actually taking as is loading. Fifth alert, I'm actually taking as is template. Okay. So what are all the parameters that are available in the unchanged client script? Control, old value, new value, is loading, is template. So first we will have to discuss about control. This is actually a HTML object of this particular field. HTML object of this particular field. 
So 99.99, 100%, you don't use this control. We don't use this control ever. Okay. So control is actually HTML object of this particular short description field. Did you guys ever use control? New value, old value, we will use ease loading sometimes. We will also use ease template as well. But 99, not 100% of the time, we will use, we don't use control. Control is actually a HTML object of this particular field. So what is HTML object also? You can call, you can also ask me. So you can actually inspect the element, right click, not, not right click, somewhere here, right click. You can just click on inspector. Here you have inspect, right? You just click on inspect here. So once you click on the inspect, right? You can just click on the cursor. This is the HTML element of short description field. So this is the HTML element of short description field, guys. If you want to get this HTML element, you will use control. If you want to get this HTML element, you will use control. Okay, how do you get this HTML element is that you right click, go to inspect. Okay, click on the cursor and hover over here. So this is actually HTML object of short description field. So you will get this HTML object when you use control. We will use one by one. So you don't have to understand about control guys. Leave, leave that control. Try to understand rest of the four. Rest of the four parameters, old value, new value, is loading, is template. Okay, so let me just refresh so that the, the, uh, the unchanged client script will get affected. Okay, so here I am going to change the value here. As soon as I change the value, the unchanged client script will run. Once the unchanged client script runs, so the change is not, not yet affected. Let me just save this one again. So as soon as I change the value here, the unchanged client script will run. Inside the unchanged client script, there are five alerts. First one is control. So this is actually object HTML input element. HTML object input element. That means this, this HTML element you will get. Second one, second one old value. Old value means here, you guys can see this was the old value. Before I modified, there was one value, right? That is actually old value. So when I am changing the value, right, that comes under new value. See, this is the new value. Whatever the value that I have entered here, right? That is a new value here. Fourth one is the form loading now. Is the form loading? Form is not loading. As the form is not loading, you will see answer as false. So we are actually entering the value here in the short description field manually, right? We are actually entering the value in the short description field manually, not from the template. So that is why here it is actually, give, it will give as is template as false. Let me just explain one more time. I'm just refreshing this one. Here you have five parameters, old value, new sorry control old value new value is loading is template so see here control old value new value is loading is template control means html object of that particular element old value means before changing the value see has been has seen megastar movie called stalin right so when i change the value here right this will become the old value, whatever we have entered, right? This is the new value. 
this one is actually the old value and this total one will become the new value okay see html element they have given so old value is actually has in megastar movie called starring so new value means see total this is actually the new value do you guys understand the difference between old value and new value everyone yeah yes sir okay so the fourth one if the the farm is loading or not the farm is not loading right if the farm is loading it will it will give the answer as true if the farm is not loading it will give the answer as false as the farm is not loading the answer is answer you are seeing here as false value is value that you are entering here manually right with the hands only you are entering right not from the template so then that is why it has it is coming as false here fine okay when this is loading will become true here you guys have to understand one thing clearly on change client script can also work as on load as well so what we discussed every time when the form loads the on load client script will run right this on change client script will also work on the on load as well by when you remove this condition right when you remove this if condition the on change client script will work on the on load as well okay i have just removed this condition or i i am just commenting this script okay just saving this one so now the on change client script will also work on the on load as well so let me just show you see the on load client script will run first it will say hi friends next it will say let me just refresh again See, the on load client script has run it said hi hi friends second the on change client script has run or not that means on change client script will also work in the on load how the on change client script will work in the on load here you have to comment this one you have to comment this line of script if you comment this line of script right this on change client script will also work on the on load okay so on change client script can also work in the on load as well D did it make sense to you guys everyone so can you repeat one second please yes okay so here what i told you first one on load client script i told you on load client script i told you this on load client script when exactly the on load client script will run tell me when exactly when, the form when form gets loaded yeah. when the form gets loaded so when the form gets loaded the on load client script will run is what i told you okay that is fine second one i explained about on change client script so when exactly this on change client script will run Change when you change, change the value on particular field, when you change the value on particular field, yeah. on change the, yes, will run. Yeah, on change the client script will run. So till this point, you guys are clear. So what I am trying to tell you here is, this on change client script can also work as on load client script. This on change client script can also work as on load client script. okay how exactly this on change client script will work on the on load is that you have to remove you have to remove this line of script so once you remove this line of script right this on change client script will also work on the on load and on change both is that clear 
is it clear guys yes sir yes so i have removed the condition so now this on change client script will also work as on load and on change both on the form load and field field value change so i am going to refresh this one now see the on load client script has run and now on change client script is working on the on load or not guys yeah. did you guys notice the difference so see here old value new value both are same i did not make any change right it is loading on the form and see here form loading is true now is loading is true now earlier it was false because the form was not loading during that time and this template is false so now i am going to change the value here now now also on change client script will run see html element so old value is actually this one new value is this one form loading is false this time the form is not getting loaded right is that clear guys everyone hello did you guys understand the difference between on change and on load hmm yes those who did not understand please feel free to ask ask again guys okay so if you guys are good then i'll i'll move ahead so this on change client script will also work as on load only when you remove the condition so i will actually explain what exactly this condition does if if new value is loading so this is the condition when this condition is there the unchanged client script is only working when you are making a, a change on the field when this condition is there the unchanged client script is work, only working when you are making a change on a particular field when you remove this one it is also working on the on load right so what exactly this condition is doing i am actually going to explain now okay so here if the form is loading is loading is true okay is loading means if the form is loading will return if the form is loading it will return true if the form is not loading it will return false if the form is loading it will return true here it will return true right this return statement what exactly this return statement does is that it will terminate the script it will terminate the script in the sense at the fourth line it will stop the client script execution so here guys remember one thing if you keep return statement here right if you keep return statement here only till 14th line only the script will be executed if you keep return line at the 10th line till 10th line only script will be executed after 10th line script will not be executed script will be terminated if you use return statement if you use return statement script will be terminated at that line after that whatever the script that is there no that is of no use after return line return return means that will terminate the script okay the, what he has done if the form is loading do nothing terminate the script at fourth line that is why on change client script by default will not work on the on load okay 